All right, so this is the May, um, May, June, um, 2023, paper one paper. So let's, um, let's have a look at it. All right, so question number one says um, minus three square plus minus two square. So if we're working this out, um, minus three square is minus three times minus three, which is positive nine. Um, plus minus two square, which is four. So the answer here is 13. So the answer for question number one is C. All right, question number two, what percentage of um, 40 is eight? So you're gonna put eight over 40, multiply by 100%. 8 goes into 40 five times, 5 goes into 100 20 times, so the answer is 20%. Question number 3, um, 0 0.45 is written as a common, sorry, when 0 0.45 is written as a common fraction, in its simplest form, the result is? Well, the place value of the last digit five is hundredth. So this is 0 0.45 is the same as saying 45 over 100. If we reduce this, five into 45 goes nine times, five into 100 goes 20 times. The answer is nine over 20, which is A. All right, question number four. Um, 2.35 times 4.87. All right, I really don't work this out. 4.87 is close to eight. Sorry, it's close to five. 2.35 is close to um, two. Two times five is 10. So I would um, choose the answer that is closest to 10. Answer is A. Question number six, it says a test was marked out of 80, a boy scored 60% of the marks on the test. How many marks did he get? Well, this young one got 60%, which is 60 over 100. Of the total marks, which is 80, zero cancer, zero, zero cancer, zero. This is 48 marks. So the answer here is B. Um, up now, back to number six. Number six says, Dan sold um, 40 concert tickets in five days. Each day, each day he sold three tickets more than the previous day. What is the ratio? All right, so let us say on day one he sold X, X sorry. So day one, X. Um, day two would be X plus three. All right, and so on and so forth. It's five days, so it's X plus X plus three, day two, X plus six, um, day three, X plus nine, day four, X plus 12, day five, and that's a total of 40. All right, add up all the X, get X, out of all the numbers, we get 3, 9, 18, 30 is equal to um, 40. So we're going to get 5x is equal to 40 minus 30, which is 10. Divide both sides by 5, and we get that x is equal to 2. So on day 1, Um, on day one, um, he sold um, two tickets. So I said, um, how much tickets did he sell on day three? The ratio of day three to day five. On day three, he sold X plus six. So day three. So um, the ratio of day three. So day five, 
would be um, day three is two plus um, six. Day five, it's um, two plus 12, sorry, plus 12. So this would be eight to 14, which is the same as saying four to seven. The answer is B. Question number seven, which of the following sets is defined Which of the following set is defined by x is less than or equal to four? At the same time, x is greater than or equal to minus two. The answer there is simply D. All right, question number eight says, the set of positive integers that is divisible by six, um, the set of positive integers that is divisible by six, to me, that would be, um, well, the set of positive integers is, um, is infinite, and the set of possible positive integers divisible by six is also infinite. So this is an infinite set. All right, this says um, the, the number of elements in universal set U is 25, the number of elements in A is 14, the number of elements in B is 15, the number of elements in A union B is 23, then the number of elements in A intersect B is. Using this formula, the number of elements in A union B is equal to the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B minus the number of elements in A intersect B. Putting in our values, we have 23. This is equal to 14 plus 15 minus the number of elements in A intersect B, which is what we don't know. Um, so the number of elements in A intersect B would be 14 plus 15, which is 29 minus 23. So the answer here is six. All right, turning the page. Question number 10, items 10 and 11 refer to the following Venn diagram, which shows the universal set U and two sets T and C that represents the students in a class who play tennis and chess. How many students play both? Well, um, here, chess is a subset of tennis. It means that every, every student who plays chess also plays what tennis. All right, Paul and, um, and um, Rima play um, chess. So they also play what tennis. So it's two students that play both sports or both games. How many play exactly one? Well, that would be Ali, Alex, Tom and Kayla, so that's four. Four students play exactly one. Item 12, it says 30 students in um, May's class have either a dog, a cat, or none of the two. They have either a dog, a cat, or none of the two. Um, 16 students have a dog, have a dog, 12 students have a cat, and the remaining students um, have neither a dog nor a cat. Which of the following Venn um, diagram correctly represents this information? So 30 students um, have either a dog or a cat or none of the two. Well, to me, this looks like B, 16, 12, and two, it looks like D. All right, they have either a dog or a cat or none of the above. So notice it did not say that there's a set of students who had both. It says either a dog or a cat or none. So there are no students who had both. So it looks like um, dogs and cats are disjoint. To me, the answer looks like D. 
13, it says at a bank, um, EC $2.60 is equivalent to US $1. For every US $1 um, exchange, EC 10 cents is deducted as an exchange fee. How much um, dollars will um, Leon receive if he exchange US $1,000? All right, so let's first do the conversion. All right, first of all, let's calculate the fee. So for every for every um, dollar US, there is 10 cents um, EC. So the fee would be 10 cents multiplied by a thousand a thousand US dollar, which is um, um, EC. The fee is EC one hundred dollars. Now let's do the exchange. Um, we have um, US. One dollar is equal to EC two sixty. So US thousand dollar. This is X. So X um, is equal to a thousand times two. This is EC two thousand six hundred minus the fee, which is one hundred. So Leon would receive EC 2,500. So the answer here would be C. Number 14, a dress which costs um, $1,800 is being sold at a discount of 10%. The amount of the discount is, well, the discount is 10% of $1,800, which is simply $180. Question number 15 says, if um, $7,000 is borrowed at a rate at a rate of 5% per annum for three years, the simple interest would be, well, I is equal to PRT over 100. Um, the principal is 7,000. The rate is 5%. The time is three years, divide by 100. Two zero two zero seventy times five three fifty times three. The interest is one thousand and fifty dollars. So the answer here is D.